From princess to queen to a supreme being that serves as our North Star. Some say we've created a monster to have even taken it this far. If I'm her queen, one thing I know, from all these years we spent together, and she knows no bounds, hip hop will live everywhere. Forever. The Grammys celebrated hip hop in a big way on Sunday, bringing together the biggest names in hip hop history for an all star tribute to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the music genre. LL Cool J, a two time Grammy winner and seven time nominee, took the stage first to present the special performance, which was arranged by Questlove. I'm proud to be a part of the hip hop family, whether they're in the house tonight or not. And we're going to rock the bells for the 50th anniversary of hip hop. You know what I mean? Now, look, working closely with one of the most respected and talented groups in the world, The Roots, Questlove has curated something spectacular. A flash forward through a half century of one of the greatest ongoing musical stories ever told. And it's a story that all began on August 11, 1973, when DJ Cool Herc was DJing a party for his sister Cindy in a rec room on Sedgwick Avenue in the Bronx and played the breakbeats that kick-started a global musical revolution. Now, we wish we could have included every single hip hop artist from 1973 to 2023. I know, I know, I know. But that's to be continued at a later date and time, all right? The performance included contributions from a huge host of artists throughout the genre's long history, including Run DMC. And then LL Cool J took the stage, which then led into Salt and Peppa bringing it back. Public enemies Chuck D and Flavor Flav also made an appearance. Queen Lativa brought the house down with her award-winning song, UNITY. Method Man was right after her, and then Big Boy came on stage as a force to be reckoned with, before Busta Rhymes came on to spit his iconic, crazy fast rap moment from Chris Brown's 2011 hit, Look At Me Now. <laughs> Missy Elliott was next and danced her heart out while singing her classic hit, Lose Control. Nelly also showed up to sing one of his all-timers, Hot In Here. This performance really hit all generations of hip-hop and included newcomers Lil Baby and Glorilla. LL Cool J concluded the performance with one last testimony to 50 years of hip-hop. Multi-generational, 50 years from the Bronx to TikTok to the whole world. We love you, baby. It started in the Bronx, and ever since it's gone everywhere, to the five boroughs, to the West Coast, to the heartland, overseas, to Europe, to Africa, to Asia, TikTok, whatever's next. Because thanks to the 33 rappers and hip-hop artists on stage at Catalyst Mall, we love hip-hop is the global platform today. We're celebrating happy 50th anniversary to hip-hop, baby. We love you.